Hey, what's going on, Huda Nation? It is yours truly, TJ Jones, the host of the State of the Saints podcast. And for a few minutes, I just want to talk a little bit about this weekend's wildcard game, the New Orleans Saints and the Minnesota Vikings. Um, I just finished looking at a very interesting video. Um, it featured Mike Flores and Chris Sims of NBC. They do a podcast and a, and a, a show together, and they were talking about this game. And they were talking about the New Orleans Saints possibly being upset um, and, and let down at the fact that they are not going to have a first round bye. And could this affect the way that the Saints go into the game against the Minnesota Vikings? And the answer to that question is absolutely not. I do not see the New Orleans Saints looking past the Minnesota Vikings or even being upset to a point where they go out there and not play up to their full potential just because they're playing on wild card weekend. The New Orleans Saints have uh, dealt with all types of uh, controversy and tragedy when it comes to playing in the postseason. Okay, I mean, these guys have been let down for the past couple of seasons in heartbreaking fashion. It's almost like you watching a movie or something like that because you can't believe that it's real. But then you wake up the next morning and realize that it is real. Now, the more that I think about this game, the more, you know, I get excited about it, but I get a little bit nervous too. But I think that the New Orleans Saints, I think they're going to do everything in their power not to have a letdown. I think that Sean Payton, Drew Brees, the offense and the defense are going to uh, try to do everything that they can and not to uh, let history repeat itself. Um, they probably were a little bit dejected, of course. I mean, you won a first round by, right? I mean, you sit at home and let these teams in Wild Card Weekend beat themselves up, and then they got to come see you in the divisional round, and you're just one game away from the NFC Championship. I completely understand that. But at the same time, I mean, this is a very weird year. I mean, this is one of those years that we never seen before. You have three 13 and three teams. Um, in my opinion, I think the Saints are better than the Green Bay Packers, but the way the schedule was set up, uh, you know, the – the Green Bay Packers on the tiebreaker, they had the opportunity to beat the 49ers and they didn't get the job done. So you find yourself going into wild card weekend. Any other year, 13 and three would have been enough, um, but it's not this year. And that just shows you how good the NFC is this season. But I think that the Saints can win at home and I think they can go on the road. Yeah, they're quick to tell you that the Saints are, you know, a dome team, but they're not telling you that the Saints uh, were seven and one away from home this season. The only loss that they had away was against the Los Angeles Rams, and we all know that Drew Brees was knocked out of that game, and Teddy Bridgewater wasn't prepared to come in. So um, I don't think that this is going to be a letdown game. I think this is going to be one of those games where both teams are going to be inspired, and I think they're going to get the best of one another. But when I feel like when you're getting the best of one another, it, it all comes down to who's better. And I just think that the New Orleans Saints are better than the Minnesota Vikings. And I just think that the Saints are completely dialed in. I think that they made some necessary adjustments um, in order for them to, uh, you know, not have any type of letdown in the postseason. Um, they fixed up the secondary. Uh, man, they, they changed out a lot of things. You got Chauncey Gardner-Johnson playing in the slot as well as at the strong safety position. Uh, you got uh, uh, P.J. Williams. Uh, he he transitioned from being a slot corner. And now he's playing at the safety position. You got Janora Jenkins out there, who I feel like uh, is a, a great number two cornerback, would be a number one on most, most teams on the other side of Marshall and Lattimore. And not to mention you have some healthy linebackers now. These teams are going to give it everything that they have. But I just once again think that the New Orleans Saints are going to be just a tad bit better than the Minnesota Vikings. Um, I don't think the letdown is going to be this season. At least I hope not. But I would love to hear from you. What do you think about this game? Um, do you think that the Saints, uh, you know, could possibly look at this game and, and you know, be, up, be upset to a point where they don't play their best performance because they're playing on Wild Card Weekend? Uh, comment down below, like, and share this video. This has been a State of the Saints podcast. And I want to let everybody know that there is an audio version. I put up a 45-minute uh, audio podcast uh, of the State of the Saints podcast that's available on Spotify and also on anchorfm.com. I'll make sure that I put that link down. So if you have not heard uh, the podcast that I put up, you can go ahead and click the link. Let me know what you think. 
Uh, thank you once again for your love and your support as we try to grow the State of the Saints podcast and make it available for everybody and, you know, just give you more and more content. But please subscribe to the YouTube channel, youtube.com, search State of the Saints podcast, and on Facebook at State of the Saints podcast. Till next time, all I got to say is, who that?